Bongo and the Frog. Surprising things often happened to Bongo the armadillo, usually when he was sitting in his garden having his cup of tea. One day, a frog, which was sitting on a lily pad in the middle of his pond, turned into handsome prince. Hmm, thought Bongo, that didn't happen yesterday. He quickly looked inside his teapot to see if he'd made enough tea. These princes drank a lot of tea, or so he'd heard. The prince was heavier than the frog, so the prince was up to his knees in water. I'm so sorry to have suddenly appeared like this and squashed your lily pad, said the prince, bowing low. After all, he was speaking to Bongo the armadillo. That's all right, I can always buy another one at the lily pad shop, said Bongo. Why aren't you a frog any more? Well, somewhere a witch must have turned a handsome prince into a frog. Whenever that happens, a frog turns into a prince somewhere else to keep the number of frogs and princes the same. Oh, hmm. do you like being a prince? asked Bongo. Oh, no, said the prince. I can't catch flies with my tongue any more. Ugh, but that's why the frog wants to be turned back into a prince again, said Bongo. We like catching ants with his tongue, but which, of course, is quite different. Can you help me find him? asked the prince. If we can find each other, then we can reverse the spell. Bongo looked inside his teapot again. Well, he's not in here, he said. How about a cup of tea before we go looking? The prince thought it was a great idea. After they'd had some tea, Bongo and the prince looked high and low for the frog. Bongo was better at the low bits, and the prince was better at the high bits. They found him in the end, sitting on a park bench in the palace grounds. It was the first place they should have looked, really, rather than the supermarket, by the tea area, where they started looking. The instant the frog and the prince sat next to each other, they changed back into a prince and a frog. Thank goodness for that, said the frog and the prince at the same time. The frog hopped off to go and catch some flies, and the prince dashed off to go and wash his mouth out. When he got home, Bongo poured himself a cup of tea. He felt it was a reward for being so helpful.